the retro is just seeping out of our brains. Um, anyways, what's going on, everybody? I'm Stubbs, that's Damien, and this is RH Daily. And in today's number one thing, we have the Fox showing us that the Win 4 has a 15% larger battery capacity than the Steam Deck. Well, that's 15% good with me. You are 15% more excited about this now. And look at all the lemons you get. Yep. The Steam Deck, you get this sort of hazy lemon situation. But on the Win 4, you right. get crystal clear. Yep. Wait a minute. Are those oranges or lemons? Various citrus. The size which you may concern hashtag gpd win four the win four probably is going to be at least eight to nine hundred dollars nearly double the price of the entry level steam deck we'll see looks like a big old vita that render looks like a straight up like aliexpress like famiclone like where they call it a psp (laughs) yeah that's immediately where my brain's like oh 501 right what else do we have RG353V has another new colorway they're showing off in this engineering sample. So here's a DMG. Yeah. I'm guessing, though, that the Mini Probably is going to be same. this exact same situation. What a nice little pair you can buy if that's the case. You right? Like, they can same match. Basic form factor. One's just mm-hmm. smaller for your for your little, you know, in your pocket. And right. The same color and everything. It looks good and. You know, everyone's getting into the mini TV craze, and so Ambernic's <laughs> hopping on the train. First it was the Friends TV, then it was Tiny Circuits, now this. All right, let's hype a friend today now. So Jim RPG, Humble Hardware with Jim, he's showing the RP3 is the handheld of the year? Question mark? Is it? So far, probably, yeah. Conclusion. Oh, look at this guy, Drum. Where's James Brown? Is it the handheld of the year? You have to watch this video to find out. Uh, we'll have to have Jim back on the podcast to ask him the hard questions. A couple hours ago, Retro Pocket 3, his RP3 died while doing the conductive rubber install. The Retro no. Handheld Discord helped him out. Well, that's cool. That's why you should be in our Discord if you like this stuff. You get all the help you need. Yeah, that's really that's really cool. Now, other stuff. Uh, Raspberry Pi kits are now available through university libraries. Students, faculty, staff, and community users interested in computing can now check out one of the five Raspberry Pi kits from the Mullins Library Help Desk. Yep, because I mean, it just runs off a micro SD card, right? So they just wipe right. it when you're done. So if you want right. to take it and do a project with it, do some computing on it, it's just basically a computer you're checking out. Cool. That's really nice. Now, can we mail it from wherever this is? You want to review the library Raspberry yeah. Pi? I think Listen, it's probably for locals. I know that, but what if we fake being a local? Okay, what if we get an Arkansas library card, University of Arkansas proxy account, like get a P.O. box and complicated means of uh, Raspberry Pi mules? We can make this happen, and I'll be very professory, like this guy. Everybody remember the PSVR, the PlayStation VR headset? Yeah, that was cool, but it had a cord, and you had to hook up a bunch of stuff and it was just no psvr2 and they they have in white to match the ps5 that's sleek and they're trying to make up for the lackluster performance the original psvr uh, compared to its pc counterparts by pulling out all the stops this time such as that inside out tracking such as haptic feedback in the headset my god Mm -hmm. there's even eye tracking the new controllers will also be a huge step up from the dated move controllers which were You don't like holding those ping pong paddles? No, and will be proper built for VR controllers with many of the fantastic touches of the DualSense, such as the adaptive trigger system. Now featuring a 2000 by 2040 OLED display with 120 hertz refresh rate. Boy, howdy, you're you're gonna be VRing with the best of them there. It'll be the highest resolution currently available amongst any mainstream VR headsets. Yeah, suck it, Meta. Damien, what's this all about? So Nintendo Switch Online, as as you all know, uh, comes with a bunch of free retro games, usually from the uh, Nintendo library, as well as some Sega Genesis games as well. Um, As is normal, they occasionally add free games into the system, and uh, it looks like they just recently added three, which are actually a really cool three. Uh, Alyssa Dragoon, or was it Alyssia Dragoon, uh, Beyond Oasis, and Earthworm Jim. Um, Alyssia Dragoon is is actually a really cool game. that we recently played for game of the week in the server um i finished it liked it nice really cool really cool like walk and magic game stars of you know female protagonist very cool um beyond oasis is a uh 
is uh, another really cool game. It's, um, it's like an action adventure, I believe. And I do know that it's the uh, the European title is actually just really? because you know of our community. It's called Story of Thor. So I think it's also the Japanese title too. That's so cool. That's kind I of thought... a cool one. I haven't played that one yet though, so it's not on my list now. It's on my radar. Earthworm yeah. Jim, classic. Always a classic. You you play as an earthworm, and you uh, you gym about. So as of yesterday, those are live. Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you for sharing with us. Ah, what what what's this though? Uh... <laughs> also in our in our retro gaming news for for actual retro gamers, uh, a video game called Osman, which was a uh, arcade game from the I believe the early early mid nineties. Um, arcade in japan and north america and stayed in the arcade has recently been uh recently receiving ports here for you know the previous and current xbox uh lines of switch playstation 4 and 5 Ooh. Um, so we're going to be seeing a really cool arcade game pop up it, it so. looks really cool it's also called uh canon dancer and it's the apparently the spiritual successor the unofficial spiritual successor to the strider series so and i love right. strider so i it looks right up my alley. And the music, if you check out the trailer they've got there, the announcement trailer, if that's the actual game music, like, I'm in. Like, we're, we're done. I'm in. Do, On the Switch do, do, today. Do, do. We need it. Coming early 2023. Yep, so. Uh, what else is this? We're getting a, you know, a whole complete new remake of Resident Evil 4, which is something we've been waiting for for a little while here um, as they slowly get through that series. So. Well, following the Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3, which were great remakes... But anyways, yeah, announced for uh, um, PS5. Series X and S and PC on March 24th, 2023. It is coming to the PS4 as well. And it'll be fine. All right, we have some deals. We have a couple deals today. So one of them is going to be that Shredder's Revenge has been dropped to 20 bucks. So that's $5 off. Find it on the PlayStation Network. So get a PlayStation 5 so you can get this game for $20. That's the reason to buy a PlayStation 5. That today. is. Who likes free games? This guy. And maybe that Andrew? guy. Yeah, totally. Epic Games. Get yourself some stuff. We have Spirit of the North and The Captain today, running until September 22nd. Spirit of the North is a fun game about being a fox. You run around the breathtaking and mysterious landscapes of Iceland. That sounds really relaxing. Play as an ordinary red fox whose story becomes entwined with the Guardian of the Northern Lights. Spirit of the North definitely looks up the alley that my wife and I would like sit down and play together. Very calming. Uh, the other game they had on offer here was called The Captain. Race back home across the galaxy, collect new friends, make new enemies. You won't be able to save everybody, though. Who will you leave behind? Oh, it's a psychological torture game. Huh. That's fun. The Starfleet Captain. Well, I can't argue with free, so t ch check that out, everybody. Um, no. Oh, not this again, Damien. We, I thought we, I no. thought we, I thought we secured the the perimeter. How are we? The feed's cutting out. They're hacking the feed. Not again. No, somebody stop him. Somebody get the red banana. The red banana. Hey guys, it's um, it's Raven Mage again. Still locked in this closet. They've been sliding me food under the door, and I found a leaky pipe to to drink water off of. I've been tempted to ask them to slip like a lemon or an orange slice under the door. I don't know how long it takes for scurvy to set in. Secrets. A jail lash. Turns out Jay Lash likes the smell of sweaty gloves. Oh, man. Okay, I think we got the feedback. That was a close one. You okay? I think I'm all right. You okay? These things are getting rough, man. Yeah, I heard I heard the, the ruckus outside the uh, the compound door, but uh, thankfully we haven't been breached. Um, everyone who's watching, just uh, just nothing to see here. Everything's fine on the up and up. We survived. We have smaller size stickers in the merch store. Got my so. got my coasters. I got a bunch of stickers back there. I gotta throw on some stuff. Cool. I'm gonna drive down the road with a big old bumper sticker someday with R H on. People are gonna be <laughs> like, I don't know what that means. That'll wrap things up for today. Like, comment, subscribe even for your daily drop of retro news. This has been Stubbs. This is Damien. Uh, and this has been RH Daily. We will see you Monday. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>